Alright, what's going on you guys? So, has it ever happened to you when you meet somebody online and in their pictures they look absolutely freaking gorgeous, but when you actually meet them in real life, they just look like freaking Shrek? No, it never happened to you? Well, I mean, good for you, lucky you, because it happened to me and trust me, it was not a good situation. It was actually one of the most awkward situations and just most awkward things that ever happened to me in my entire life. So please just, you know, learn from my mistakes and make sure to not make the same mistake as I did because you just don't want to be in the same situation. So a few months back, I've met this really, really cute girl on Twitter and in her pictures, she looked like a solid 7 or maybe even 8 out of 10. And I was like, damn girl, I really, really want to meet you. So, you know, I just kind of started talking to her and, you know, a few days go by and we get to know each other better and I ask her if she wants to come over to my house and, you know, so we can just kind of watch a movie, cuddle, all that kind of gay shit. So I tell her that and obviously she says yes, but then she tells me that she has to bring a friend along for some reason and then she explains to me that her friend is staying over at her house for like a few days and she can't really leave her because, you know, that would be just kind of rude and not not in a good manner or some stuff like that. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I mean, sure, bring a friend along and if everything goes well, we might as well just have a threesome if your friend is in the mood, if you're in the mood and if, you know, just if the situation goes well. So we just agreed to meet at the train station, which is like 5 minutes away from my house. And the next day comes and we meet at the train station. And the next thing you know, she looks absolutely freaking nothing like she does in her pictures. I mean, for example, if you look somebody, if you like, if you look at her pictures, she looks like freaking princess. But in, in real life, she honestly looks like an ogre. She was, it was like that bad. Because in her picture, she looked like a 7 or maybe even 8 out of 10, as I told you guys. But in real life, it was like, like even not even close to 4 out of 10. Because I just couldn't like, I just couldn't bear with it, mate. It was like, the difference was that drastic. I mean, it was still the same person because like, you can roughly tell like, the, the face shape and stuff. But it was, it was nothing like she looked in the pictures. So I was like, ah, uh, yeah, this is really awkward because there is no fucking way and my let you go to my house with me and your friend she's even worse so i'm like okay i just gotta come up with something because there is no way you guys are going to my house so i came up with somewhat of a decent plan well in my head it was a decent plan now that i look back on it it was probably not the best plan because it was kind of fucking rude but what can you do so i tell them that let's just go for a walk for like 10 minutes because i'm not really feeling it i just want to get some air let's so just just have a walk chat chill and whatnot so we go for a walk, 10 minutes go by and they tell me that they're tired, they're cold and they just want to go to my house. And I'm like, okay, I could just give me a second. And I come up with this like stupid excuse to, to run away from them, which is I tell them that I want to take a piss and there is this pub across the road. And I'm just like, okay, just I'll be right back. Let's just go to this pub. I'll take a piss and I'll be right back. Just, just wait here. And pretty much what, what was going through my head is, you know, I cross the road and I just Usain bolted to my house. And that's what is that, that's exactly what happened but just let me just give me give you guys some details so across the road and then i slowly start walking towards the pub but at the same time i'm looking at the at the traffic light so it turns green so the cars start going again so once it turns green like just like the same second as it turns green at the and the first car starts moving i just start running like there is no tomorrow towards my house and i'm just like yes i'm doing this i start running and i Honestly, to be honest with you guys, I don't think I ever, ever, ever ran this fast in my whole entire freaking life because I was honestly scared that if they catch me, they're just gonna like beat me up and rape me because they were like, they were just like two times the size of me. They were quite overweight. Not that I have anything against overweight people, it's just, you know, I wouldn't really sleep with a girl that's twice the size of me, if you know what I mean. So I used saying bolt at home and I think like I covered a mile in like 30 seconds. I was that fast. And if I was like, if I was to, to like participate in, in, in Olympics and those girls were chasing me, I would definitely freaking win. Like there is no better motivation than a bunch of fat girls chasing you that want to fuck you. So yeah, then I get to my house. I close the door behind me. I check my phone. I still don't have any messages from them. But that's probably because like only half a minute passed by and they probably still didn't realize that I ran away because... It was kind of dark, it was raining, so I'm not sure they were really paying attention to what was happening. And what I think happened after that is they probably went to the pub to check if I was still there, like, taking a shit. But obviously I wasn't there, so they got pissed, but they tried to, you know, to tweet me or call me, but then I blocked them on Twitter, so that happened. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, because the way it helps me out when you leave a like is it shows that to everybody that subscribed to you that you liked my video. And they're like, they just think to themselves, hey, 
So this dude liked his video, so let me just check out his video, and if I like it, I'm gonna subscribe. And that's how I go on YouTube, and so yeah guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if you didn't, just just like it, or tell me why you didn't like it, because criticism is always good. But anyway, I've been Alpha Jelly, and I'm out.